Raise your hand if you have heard about JSON or JavaScript object notation. Everybody knows it, right? But if I ask you about JSON schema, so in this video, we're going to write a JSON schema and validate a JSON file with it. So I have a file user.json. So user has ID, name, age, address. Now you may have hundreds of these user.json files or you can fetch this file from server. So how would you validate it? So we're going to write a JSON schema for validating this JSON file. So quickly in uh, VS Code, if you want to validate a JSON file, you can write a schema and add the schema location in the JSON file. So you can add schema, dollar schema and provide the file name of your JSON schema. So I'm going to write a file user schema dot JSON. If you write like this, VS Code will automatically find out this user schema dot JSON file and validate your JSON file with it. So I have written one user schema file currently it is empty so there is no validation error or anything like that now suppose i provide some constraint in the user schema uh, let's say we have id right what if i add on constraint that id should be a string id is a property right so we can add some constraint in the properties id is one property and suppose i'm providing type as string now you can see that there is some error it is showing the incorrect type and expected this string you can also open the vs code's problems view and you can see the error now i'm going to correct it i have provided one string now there is no problem so this is one way of adding some constraint in schema you can also provide the required properties suppose the id is a required property you can then you can add required that is one array and you can provide your required properties like in this case suppose only id is the required property now if i remove the id it is showing the error that missing property id okay, i'm going to add that id now suppose i can add age age should be number so in json schema i'm going to add one property called age and the type of the age is going to be uh, I should be small now if I have some nested properties like this address this address is one object that object has a property city now how to define that in schema address is one property right so I'm going to add address here in properties now the type of the address is an object right so I'm going to add type as object and this object may have other properties so similarly i can add properties now see this is similar to the parent schema right this address is one object this object is also a sub schema you can say we can also add uh, required properties here i'm providing city now if i don't add city you can see this is an error missing property city so this is the basic example of uh, how you write a uh, json schema if you go to jsonschema.org you can see the full specification of json schema and also the implementation is there where you can find the validator validators for different languages so suppose uh, for javascript we have this many different types of validators if i click on this json schema library here is one json validator so this json schema is not really dependent on any language you can provide validators from any language and you can validate easily also one last uh, bonus tip as this user object user json object has a schema vs code knows the structure of the object right that means you can get the autocomplete i have removed that race now if you try to autocomplete you can see also suppose i am removing everything right but i have added the schema that means if I try to autocomplete it, it is showing all the relevant properties. So this is very powerful, right? If you write your JSON schema first, then easily you can write JSON files using that autocomplete and uh, built-in ID validations. So if you think the video is useful, please hit like. And you can also subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.